guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new around here i really hope that you guys are doing amazing out there wherever you are um and i also wanted to wish you all a very happy new year and a blessed year ahead i know it's been a while i mean like a really long time since i've uploaded anything here on youtube and i mean there's a lot of stuff going on with me in the past few months weeks and i've been busy with my studies as well uh, and i recently thought to myself that my channel has been like pretty dead and yeah. that's when i decided like my channel needs some updates it needs some more videos about college that is why i created this channel and yes guys i'm back i'm back yeah so guys like a little background story of which is sort of related to why i was like not on youtube for a while besides my studies is that like uh, recently my mother has passed away and like it was like all of a sudden like none of us had expected something like that to happen she was like pretty healthy and stuff um and yeah, unfortunately like she passed away in the month of september it's been a little difficult for all of us especially my family members to like accept that we've recently lost after like a really close one and yeah i just want to share it with you all and hope that you all can like just keep my mom in your prayers and pray for all of us that we all do well in life and stay healthy and as my mom like passed away in the month of september my sister and i had to come back to india like on an emergency trip which sort of affected my studies at dianza um this is like too close so um at the beginning i thought like i should okay it's gone so at the beginning i thought like i should have uh, like not study anything because my brain was not working at the moment when i learned that my mom had passed away it is a lot to take in but then i realized like no my mom wouldn't want me to just sit at home and grieve for her you know it will just make her more sad that's when i decided like to continue my education at the answer online of course because i could not be there in person so i ended up dropping my like two of my classes which were in person and had labs and i decided to go with like two other classes which are online which was already in my schedule i registered for it and yeah i successfully completed those courses by the end of this quarter that is december and yeah now i'm going back to the usa to continue my education at dianza and prepare to transfer next fall okay i guess that's enough of my background story and yeah thank you for listening guys i hope you all are doing well again and let's get back to my channel blog भराई ले बेटा भराई ले ना भरा तो अजीब थे इसे हां तो बस ये तो यूं थे करण वार से वार की तो सेट करू वार सेट ना कराई भाई ये तो लंबा थे सब जीवन देखा से हां आ तो मुड़ आ तो मैं तवाजो पाचो कर जो हां तो यहां बेटा आउ तू मन तो आउ जा मैं पूछ रहा हूं कर बस जी हां बस कास की भी भरे हां बस छे कास की भी भरे हां बस छे लाइक फोटो बनाओ आओ रिफ्लेक्शन आ रहा है ना ग्लास में बराबर तो छे ये तो वो पता थे क्या फिक्स में लगे हो फाइन का बराबर ही ओके दैट इज ऑलरेडी Your positive energy. Oh. Soothe your body. This is very good. This is our tradition. What about that? This is our tradition. So, these are my bags for. Today's or like this journey, guys. So this is going to go in the check-in, check-in, and this is my handbag or cabin bag. And I also have my 
laptop bag or like just a bag where I have my electronics and my power bank and my cable. So guys for today's So today's food check guys What I'm getting the first thing is my glasses very important Then I have this sweatshirt which I stole it last night from my dad because I think these are the colors Um the next thing are my pants These are like track pants or I don't want pants It's very comfortable and and last my shoes Guys, we are in the car right now. Yeah. Um, so my flight route for today is a little different. Instead of having one layover, I have two. Um, my first flight is from here, that is Osaka to Johannesburg in South Africa. It's via Ealing, and then my next two flights are with Emirates. So like from Johannesburg, it's going to go to. Where's it going to go? That. excited for like today's flights flights emphasize flights because i'll be traveling the a380 which is one of the biggest passenger planes in the world it's not my first time that i'll be in an a380 but the seats are like way more comfortable and it's like more wider So guys, here we are at Kenneth Kwanda International Airport. How that? Can you say?
you are at uh, the Lusaka airport and my dad's over there he's like plastic wrapping my bags so it's like an additional security measure it's like more safe so the chicken counters are here the airport seems kind of empty it is empty um i'll be checking in and i'll come back on camera after i'm done with my check in and immigration and security see you soon guys bye ha uh, i'll keep you updated bye thank you sure guys i'm back i just got done with my um security and immigration it was really quick as you can see the airport is like literally empty i don't think there are a lot of flights which go out in the afternoon from here the major airlines such as emirates and qatar they come during the afternoon like sorry evening night times i believe so you won't see a lot of like people here because just small flights such as air link and pro flights zambia malawi air fly out during the afternoon times so i'm walking towards my gate so it's a7 i have to go down it's like a bus terminal i believe
consisting of fruit juice, water, soft drinks, wine, and beer. Please note that hot beverages such as tea and coffee will be made upon request. I now invite you to please sit back, relax, and enjoy the airline hospitality. So guys, um, I'm on the flight. Um, and breakfast is just served. I was like really hungry in the morning, but I was really anxious to go back. So I did not eat anything. My father like prepared like a cheese sandwich or something. But I just had like a few bites and he ate the rest. So yeah. The first leg of the journey has started. Let me show you what's there. So this is what was given. There's an option for chicken and beef, so I went with chicken. Let me just open it up. Okay, my phone is like barely balancing. I hope it is not falling. And there's some turbulence going on.
ladies and gentlemen, welcome to OR Tampa International Airport in Johannesburg. Please remain seated with your seatbelts fastened until the aircraft has come to a complete stop. The seatbelt signs have been switched off and I have indicated to you that you may stand up to disembark. The use of your cell phones is now permitted. To prevent the loss of your personal belongings, we urge you to make a thorough check of your seat area, including all of your seat pockets to ensure that you have everything with you before you leave. Hey so guys, I am at OR Tambo International Airport at um, Johannesburg, South Africa. And currently I am walking towards the... I forgot what I was going to say. I'm going towards the like, transfer section where I might have to go to security again. There's literally no one. I'm not going the right way. So I have my boarding passes already with me. But I need to get to my gate. The next flight, the next flight's boarding starts like in two hours, so I still have time. International transfers. Okay, I'm going the right place. So guys, I have already cleared the security once again. And now, I have no other work, so I'm just gonna go um, to the gate. Like, when I uh, finish, like, the sort of immigration department for transfer, um, I came across this area where there were, like, multiple airlines who were helping uh, passengers with transfer. So I went there, and, like, uh, the person asked for my uh, passport, my visa, and she was asking for an ID card. I give her my i20 but she's like oh we need your id card it's kind of weird because okay i'm tired it's kind of weird because usually they don't ask for your like physical id when you're traveling to the usa for your higher education they just ask for your i20 which that person did not ask she returned the document when i give it to her it's kind of a mess but i already had my boarding passes i wanted to like just confirm it with her and this airport is huge. She exchanged my hard paper boarding passes with some really flimsy paper ones. It's very weird. There's a lot of stuff around here. The last time when I was traveling through the same airport, everything was closed. And that is like really boring. But now you can see a lot of people here. Other people. Like shops and everything is open. It's amazing. some really cool artifacts duty free I need to find where my gates are so I need to go to A26 which is somewhere there this is like the food court some more beautiful shops Probably they're very expensive and I think this is like a real fur or something, I don't know. A1936, I need to be here. Okay. This is the Dana who is currently editing this video and I just realized I never included that part where I was sort of lost. I mean not really lost but then I went on, like to the other side of the airport like towards like the bus terminal where most of the flights were like ailing i was actually exhausted walking throughout like through the airport 
um, because like Johannesburg indeed is like a really big airport and I misread the gate number which is written on my pouring passes and I went somewhere else which took another like just like 5-10 minutes for me to get back on the other side so yeah Just look at how huge the windows are. So basically here I was just praising the A380 and how I had selected my seat in front of the aircraft. This was like my third attempt to record like a short video when I was on board because like there was music playing and my voice wasn't like getting recorded and yeah I was just like talking about the aircraft and how happy I was that I had gotten I mean I had chosen a seat in front of the aircraft and I was talking about like the journey which was like going to be around 8 hours long and how comfortable the seat was so yeah
ับGuys, I have reached Dubai International Airport. Um, my layover here is for like around three, three point five hours. And honestly, I had some really good sleep in the eight-hour flight. So I'm fresh. I'm not tired at all. 
and I guess it's like the peak hour so there are a lot of passengers and I guess yeah I guess I'm in the terminal 3 which is like mostly just Emirates airline got off like an 8, A380 and like a lot of people came off it <laughs> as expected just looking around there's a train the lifts and all are over there and I'm just like chilling over here Please hold on. Train is departing. You should miss the train. Enter your train and next stop, gate B. Guys, I'm finally at the gate. I still have like around two hours to go until my next flight departs from Dubai International Airport. I'm really tired. I'm trying not to film those guys at the back. <sighs> there are like a bunch of duty free shops over there. I might just go and like just walk past the shops. Honestly, I don't feel like going anywhere else. I'm just like tired. I'm not really in the mood. So, just gonna chill over here. As usual. By the way, this backpack was gifted to me by Axel. So if you're watching this video, thank you. And like you know, whenever I travel like na like within the country or like internationally, I always have this tendency like to keep on checking my passport even though it's with me. I mean, I'm a little like, I don't know how to explain, because this one time there was an incident where <laughs> uh, my mother and I were traveling to Lusaka for the first time, I believe, oh no, I guess it, it's, it was like either going to Lusaka or like going back home, but like uh, we deboarded the aircraft, <laughs> we were in the waiting area. And then after some time we realized like you know like we had a lot of stuff with us like we had our hand luggages we had like my mom had a purse I had like a bag thingy and then we realized my mom's handbag or like another purse was like not with us and like in there we had like you know, had money we had like our Aadhaar cards our passports boarding passes like everything everything so we started panicking and started looking at, like for like for it everywhere. Luckily, um, I don't know, like my mind's all over the place. So um, we went to the gate agent and he said, like, I guess like, you know, we've left a bag in the aircraft. Um, thankfully, the bag was still there. Everything that was inside was still there. No one stole anything. And like, we weren't allowed to go inside the aircraft, but like, some airline guy went back and then got it for us so like since then i mean even before then i was like i have this thing like i always get nervous and stuff while flying even though i love flying but yeah so like since then i'm a little more like cautious or whatever so yeah i have my passport It's kind of weird because at uh, the Johannesburg International Airport, they gave us this really weird, like, looking bowling passes, just like so flimsy. I don't like it. It's so weird. Um, when I was at Lusaka, I actually got all my boarding passes over there. 
they gave me these really cool i mean not very cool just like the usual cool. let me just see if there's any sort of information over here <laughs> which i don't want to disclose so like they gave me like a boarding pass which is of this material so it's like this is like the usual material for boarding passes but like it has no color so it's pretty boring so what happened is when I reached uh, the Johannesburg International Airport, like Poa Tambo International Airport, uh, I came, I guess I mentioned like in this video earlier, that when I came, okay wait, after I was done like with the security thingy and like this time my passport for transit, um, I came across this area where there were like multiple airlines and stuff and I just went to like inquire if I can use the same boarding passes or like if I had to um, get new ones because apparently my first flight was with Air Link and the other, the other two guys like from Johannesburg to Dubai and Dubai to San Francisco was like Emirates so just wanted to make sure and then that person took away my boarding passes which are like better than these ones so weird oh yeah these are like the um, stamps yeah, so now I'm trying to get like a an actual boarding pass, a coloured one, because it looks fancy. I like that one. I like this one. I'm just chilling over here. And like the second, like my final flight is also an A380, so it's going to be really like this area. So like, there's not a lot of people over here, but like in some like. As like the departure time comes closer, the boarding time, the entire area is going to be packed because I need to eat. I don't know what to do. Usually I'm like all excited and stuff when I'm traveling. But like this time it's like different. So. But I still want to vlog because it's been a really long time. My channel needed something. So I shall take you guys around like the duty free area and sometime. I just want to rest. Forgot to mention okay this is better. I also forgot to mention that um, my flight from Johannesburg to Dubai landed at around 5 30. I don't know what the time is right now. Let me check. So it landed around like 5.20, 5.30ish. I just wanted to say that. And my next flight is at 8. So my layover time at Dubai airport is... Um, 3 hours. 3 hours 45 minutes or 3 hours. There's also the next thing over here. And honestly, is it only me or I find these kind of watches a little confusing? So the time now is like six, five, something. But like when I look at such watches, I'm a little slow at playing times because it does not have numbers on it. Okay, bye. It's after a lot of de self determination. I have decided to go check out the duty free area. Let's go. Cosmetics. They are like perfumes and stuff.
so guys i'm back um the gate where we were at like about um there was like not exactly like a like a i don't want to say like an like, exact boarding gate but it's just like a part of it so like uh, most of the flights that depart to the usa there's like some additional security which takes place like for like drug tests and just like some extra security um and one interesting fact is that uh, the person first physically checks your passport and your boarding pass and then like now like i do not know if that was true but like i had seen like online where they were saying that um in the future like in this year ahead uh, like dubai international airport is going to be using um like a robotic check in desk scenarios so it's going to read your face and let you through so like they had like the system over there and then as a kind of nervous what what if it doesn't recognize my face because i guess i put on some weight and then i stared for like around 10 15 seconds like there's a tiny camera thingy and yeah it said i forgot what it said but like it opened the gates and it said like something like enjoy your flight or something so i'm in this area where there's a like security and stuff happening and as it's an a380 like this area is like pretty huge there's a lot of seats there's also like i'll i'll show you. there's also like a special library i don't know how, how it's pronounced of the a380 it's like painted blue airports are like the, the terminals over here are like pretty long that's how they have designed it so whenever like you need to get from one area like from one end to the next it takes a really long time they do have like a train uh it's an automated train there's no person who operates it it passes like through the different gate gates or sections like that saves a little more time but like even besides that there's a lot of like walking to be done here i would suggest like if you're traveling via dubai have at least like a 3 hour layover here at least you need that time because like with security and this and that your time just like goes away really quick and yeah i was just like there was something on my bag as getting it's getting it out this is how the waiting area looks like after like most of the passengers are here this is what an a380 flight looks like like people everywhere people people so so many Hello, good morning.
zoning out. They have like the calf tree here. And the middle.
landed at San Francisco International Airport and the A380 being a huge aircraft there are a lot of people so the immigration lines and stuff is going to be really packed a little tired i'm not sleepy but i need to go get my immigration fee done security done and then i'll come back online I landed at around 12:30 in the afternoon at San Francisco International Airport. The immigration lines were crazy. Like trust me, because uh, an A380 had flown that is, that was ours. Uh, another like two or three flights that was from uh, New Zealand and Qatar had flown like had flown in, and a lot of people came out of those planes. Um, and it was very chaotic because like as like. When I reached the immigration place, like there were these multiple zigzag zigzag things where you had to go through, and like all of them were full, like literally, like there's no space to like even stand. Like people like standing like so close to each other and stuff. Um, yeah, like that thingy consumed a lot of my time. Uh, my friend Dave, he was waiting for me like outside the airport in the waiting area for me to like come so he could see me. Thank you, Dave, for like driving me back home. Um, what else? So, like uh, after the immigration thingy, from twelve thirty, twelve forty, I reached home at around sixteen hours. That is four p.m. So around four or five, that's the time we came home. So it, I mean, I was not tired. I was just like a little irritated, like looking at so much people coming in, and yeah. Once I came home, uh, the the two of my friends, Axel and Hannah, came to see me, and they was with me throughout the entire time. He was just like trying to keep me positive and making me laugh because I was like listen, I was like missing my mom a little bit and like my dad too. Um, I got a little emotional, but then like Dave, he took care of me, like. He lightened up my mood, like he made me laugh. So, yeah. And then Axel, Hannah, they came. They visited me at home. This is really sweet of them, and sweet of Dave as well. So yeah. Also, no oh mind. Okay. I just wore, I just wore a jacket because it's like getting cold, and I did not realize that my heater had gotten off. So I switched it on again. And it's warming up, so yeah, that's the end of the video. I really hope I know it's a little too long, but you know I talk a lot, and I hope you guys enjoyed my video and you enjoyed my journey from Africa to America, and yeah, that's it. I'll see you in my next college videos.